All right. So see how this club is starting back right now? So I'm going to give you an example of something, okay? Um, this little whippersnapper, that's my 13-year-old daughter who does not golf. Okay, I brought her in here yesterday to do kind of a test. I'm a, I'm a kind of a spokesman for this thing on the ground here. It's a, it's a ball delivery system, okay? So watch what happens. She initiates the paddle, ball spits out. She either hits it or she doesn't, right? So you can see here she's like, kind of drop kicked it and missed it okay but and this is she does not golf like but check out some of these swings you'll, you'll be pretty amazed um, just I'm giving you an example here to see so we I had to kind of show her how to grip it I mean I've showed her how to grip it a couple times in her life when she's played like one hole with me you know what I mean or hit balls for five minutes right so there's a pretty good one but here's my point see how this the clip can see the club the whole time this clip is just a, it's just a program thing. It says measure 1.7 seconds of a backswing and, you know, half a second of a, of a downswing. You with me? Because it doesn't take up a ton of disc space. Well, your, I don't see your golf club start behind the ball. It, it starts eight inches away from the ball, right? So basically what this is is a guy who's got way a non-athletic backswing, like, it, it, the, 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 the funny thing about this, right, and maybe we get on the machine for a little bit, is that, let me, let me hit one and I'll explain. So I'm gonna, and you just sit tight for a sec. So this machine's just, I just program it in, and very rarely do, does it, do I see a, a swing that the machine sees it as a starting point there, right? So let me do my Golf Pro warm up here. Oh, okay. Is it? Okay. Okay. So let this populate, and we'll show you what I mean. So my daughter Samantha was on that giddy on that machine because that machine kind of makes you speed up. You have no choice. Or you'll just it'll you'll be late every time, and I can program it for different speeds, but. Look where your club is and look where my club is, right? So technically, you've got a head start. You know, you've got a head start there, okay? Well, I can move this along for a bit. See, I'm scrolling along. See, see this little scroll wheel on the bottom left? I'm going to scroll it along until my club starts back. Start it back right there. And then I'm going to hit sync, okay? Check it out. Just two dudes hitting a 7-iron or 8-iron. punishingly slow. I had a cup of coffee, put on my sunblock, came back, and you got to impact finally. Do I look like I swing up normally hard or fast? No. No. Not at all, right? You see what I'm saying? That's it, right? So back to my point, you know, coming back to this, so here's this backswing. So there's a, watch the golf club. Like if you zoom, if I zoom in on this golf club for a second. And I just get a little closer in at this view here. Okay, and all we're looking at is kind of feet, hands, and golf club, okay? And then I slowly get organized here. Can you take a look at the shaft? See how the shaft almost bends a bit? Right? Like that's, it's a, you know, it's just a demo 7-iron I use to hit, dem, you know, hit shots. But, but that shaft is starting to want to bow the other way, isn't it? Right? Because Why does it do that? Because there's weight at the end of this stick, okay, this motion comes from, it's a motion that, you know, kind of comes up from the ground, right, comes down my arms, right, my arms, and my, my chest is pivoting, my hands move before the club head does, and that's why that there's the shafts of, ooh, you know, there's a little momentum, a little catch-up phase there, you see what I'm showing you, okay, so, you know, and when I, took a picture of you on this automated measuring thing, right, this camera, you know, you're so slow that, you know, it doesn't catch you at, you know, moving, it, so this is like a snail moving, right, and then all of a sudden, you just keep going, 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 and there's no, there's no real athletic response here, does that make sense, and that's a big, big deal of why you're not the golfer you want to be, because you got a, ma a great athlete in you, you just don't know how to be the athlete in golf yet, because it's stupidly hard. Okay, so if I come back to just this normal deal here, and now as I move this club back, 
you know, I was telling you there's a, there's a spot, you know, his arms start to pass parallel here in this zone. Now, believe me, my arms are still going back while my body is prepared to go the other way. There's, I'm establishing stability, just like throwing a baseball, right? So, you know, if I come back to live cameras for a second, and, you know, we had, uh, we were throwing softballs to one another, and you were 20 yards away, wouldn't you see me kind of go take the ball out of my glove and step and, you start to see the the little buggy whip that we all create as athletes. It just happens, right? You get the the quarterback gets in trouble when he's going backwards and he's got to throw this way because he doesn't have that athletic response. Now if he's just dumping it over some, you know, line lineman or linebacker trying to kill him, fine, right? But if he's trying to throw it 30, 40 yards, that's a lot of strain on something, and that's the same with golf. Okay, with you, we've got to create this sense of readiness. You know, that comes from the ground. It's almost like, you know, it's uh, you know, for years I've just called it a bit of a buggy whip. And let me explain. Come on up here for a sec. Grab your seven iron or eight iron. Okay. Set it among these little powdery dots. Perfect. Okay. Now, okay, make a backswing. Okay. What's the problem? My foot's in the way, right? But it's only in the way if your hands are the source of motion. So you leave your foot there, watch. Just move your club out of the way for me. So just, yeah, just put it over here for a second. So if my hands are the source of motion, I can't move the club because your foot's in the way. But watch, if my hands aren't the source of motion, see here my hands are relaxed and soft and they become, they become the, something that helps the whip of a golf swing, not hurts the whip of a golf swing. You track on what I'm saying? So your, your lessons in this session are this, okay? And we'll, we'll get there a couple different ways. One, let me have your hands. Put your left hand on here, okay? We're going to grip down so that you don't get this look. See how this grip cap's kind of mucking up your grip a little bit? So if we grip down just a bit, you won't get that. Now, don't be strong on here. Be soft. And I'm going to take this wrist. I'm going to bend it back, okay? Why am I bending it back? Because I'm giving this something to do. I'm putting a frisbee in here and asking you to throw it. See this little motion right here? So here's weight at the end of a stick. You can manhand it with your strong hands and do this, or you can let the weight help your wrist be leathery and move itself. You with me? So this is lag. This is when you elect to change direction by going toward the target, and maybe your body unwinds a bit, and, but the club head doesn't want to go. Once something's in motion, the club head, Right? It wants to stay in that motion. Then when you change directions, start to unwind your belt buckle toward the target of it. This thing lags and plays catch up. And then it hits a ball with a strong shaft, a bit of lean, and then it overtakes and it goes wherever it goes again. You starting to get the rhythm of this? Backswing would feel like this. Downswing would feel like this. Now this is extreme and exaggerated, but you're starting to feel the buggy whip of it. You know, snap a towel, right? Whack! Right? Well, in golf, the ball is collected before the towel really snaps. Okay? So when you, you got to learn, relax your hand for a sec. You got to learn, good, what bends this back? These muscles in your forearm. Right? So you got to learn how to do this as softly as you can. Soft, bent, back, left, fist. That's the feel. This is a ver no, at address. Because of impact, guess what happens? And then it overtakes and goes to a finish, right? Bends back, right? So it starts off a little bent. Okay, we generate some energy. Maybe, you know what I mean? Our pivot delivers something flattish. So watch this. And this is a good lesson for you, okay? So at address, this is bent back, right? As we go back into a backswing, maybe it stays a bit bent back. But now when you change direction, what's the weight of the club trying to do? Bow the daylights out of this thing, right? If you're really relaxed, it kind of will. So look at the range of motion a left wrist goes through. It's like probably 30 degrees cupped right now. Comes back, loses some of those degrees, sort of flattens. Then 20 or something, you get me? Then it comes back to kind of zero, flattish, boom. Trying like hell to go to 30 again, cuppy. So you see the feel of that? I'm putting the impact sound in there, right? You get my point? So the equivalent of bent with the left wrist is what with the right wrist? Flat. So clap, clap, open your palm, and clap a flat right hand onto this bent back left. Yeah, so there's the feeling of address. dress. 
see what I'm showing you there? And it's not a slap at the ball. But this, po this point happens. That, you know, but that's such a dynamic blink, though. It's like milliseconds, right? Okay. So what we're trying to develop is this sense of readiness that comes from the ground up. It's almost like club head last because my triangle, my arms, if I move quickly with my hands, the club head doesn't move. It gets drug a little bit. Then it gets its own inertia and momentum, and that gets it sped up. Then, then the club's like, oh, shit, the guy's going the other way. right? And then it stresses the hands, and then it starts to catch up, and then it's like, oh, gosh, I just hit something really hard. And then it flies by the hands and relaxes into a finish. So you see that kind of flow happening, right? So part of that is going, okay, telephone book ripper, you got to learn how to relax a little bit, kind of know where the weight of the club is. You get me? That's big. So that's part one. That's lesson one of the session, okay? Next one is just what we were talking about. What am I doing? Right? When I, and this is the part that takes the courage because you're not going to be used to this because it's like, you want to kind of control the scene a little bit. You can't. you got to give up control to gain control, okay? That was my coach's favorite saying, by the way. And that is when you get your good hands on here, your soft bent back left wrist, right? And now you're making this motion. This is the exaggeration, impact, overtaking, finish, right? But that all comes from there's readiness. Now, what you, you're kind of a little bit too on the toes. So this upper center and lower center are a little closer in their vertical alignments, not so tipped over, right? And so we're going to feel a little bit of club head last. So hands first, club head last, and then the opposite. And if I hit one real fast, then you do it. So, what do you notice about this club? Not on the ground, is it? It's never on the ground. Okay? Might get really close, might even tap it, tickle the grass a little bit, right? Just a little touch. But this event of body inspired, handle first, club head last, and then, the, then that's the slingshot of that event. That's what puts this nice stress in here. That's what does this. You go da, 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 steep, and then you're like, oh, dead, right? Come on in. Soft bent left fist. You look down. You should. So there. You, let's have a look at you. Good. And feet could be a little narrower for the purposes of this exercise. So I'm gonna be honest. That left fist isn't bent at all, dude. That left wrist is on there flat as could be. So this is going to be miserable for you to learn. Yep, you're strong. You can do this. That's what a left hand looks like at a dress. That. Not comfy and not here. There. Okay, good. Okay, that's not a strong grip. That's a neutral grip. Then the right ah, 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 muscles, easy, easy. Then the right hand mim mimics it. And it's as soft, buddy. Okay, pretend like your hands are the, a 13, my 13-year-old daughter holding the club. Okay, my she's pretty strong, but super soft, club off the ground. All right? So the feeling of handle first, club head last feels like this. Then the body starts to help, and it feels like this. And then it overtakes a little bit and goes to there. So show me this little flowy, little flowy move. Hang on one sec. Hit one or miss one. Handle first, club head last. Good, do it to a ball. Okay, pretty good. Let's have a look. Okay, well, you're getting closer to the starting. That's still a super pokey slow, by the way. But, you know, it looks pretty golf-like. really, really does. You're just so tight and strong, you got to learn how to use the whip. 
You see what I mean? Yeah. So let's let's pause for a sec. All right. So step over here for just a sec. So I'm actually a little faster than this, but this Ernie's six foot five, and I don't want to freak you out by I'm well, six four, but I don't want to freak you out with a crazy crazy speed. But watch this machine, or watch the camera. So when I move the paddle, okay, I'm moving the paddle with an athletic event. Handle first, club head last. That winds me up, but also that you're going to hear a beep. That's when this ball's coming at you, okay? So let me hit one of these, and I'm looking at this spot where the ball, I don't want to try to, if I'm, if I'm way late, I don't want to chase it off to where my foot is. If I miss, you miss, okay? It's okay. I won't laugh at you much, okay? And I may miss, I probably will. But the, the idea is readiness. See how, like mine's faster than this. Okay? So I can, I'm going to speed this up a sliver. You can speed up the ball speed a bit. Yeah. Sure is. Well, if you want to hit a 7 iron at buck 65 or buck 70, which you should. That's kind of how you got to move athletically, right? We can't go, right? It's got to be, you want to throw a baseball far, don't you have to kind of use the opposition, right? Same thing, okay? So let's see if this is a little closer to me or I can slow it down a bit. But this will blow your mind in a second. Okay, yeah. so it's still too slow for me. But come on in, check it out. Now do yourself a favor. Let's get this soft, bent back left fist. That's one of the parts of the lesson, right? And we're not squeezing the crap out of this. Soft, bent back left fist. Good. Then the right hand kind of mirrors it a little bit. Okay, don't squeeze. Gentle, gentle. Good. Set that club by the paddle. Go for it. Okay. So we kind of chased it a bit, didn't we? That's okay. Do it again. Hold on one second. And then do me a favor. You know, if you hit it or miss it, which is fine. Well, if you tap the paddle, the ball's coming. No, I get it. Waggle above it. And then settle in there. Okay? Soft, more bent. Soft right thumb. Waggle above the paddle a couple times. Settle in there. Get ready for the athletic event. Good try. Right? Okay. So let's take a look at this just for a moment. Here's what's interesting. You're late, right? Okay. It's not at my speed, and you're absolutely capable of being at my speed, no problem. But check this out. This is kind of funny. Guess whose club's in frame now? Right? That club's not in frame. Okay. Well, then I shouldn't say. Now watch how much time you have. Okay, so club's starting back, hands are better, and there's a little response here. We're starting to get that athletic response. Now you're late, so you're trying to, you know, kind of get your eye hand coordinated a little bit. Head's still down a little too long, but you get my point here? I'm kind of moving you along fast. I get you putting on this, chipping on this, pitching on this. I've just got a one-hour lesson, so I'm just getting you going here to kind of wake you up a bit, right? Let's do it again. Okay, so soft, bent back, left hand. That's going to take a while to kind of govern that muscles. I can kind of extend that wrist and then relax. I'm just feeling like rebar there, so just do your best. Good. Waggle up here. Narrower stance, flary feet. Awesome. Then settle into the paddle area, right? Let me load you up here. You'll, you'll clip a few. As you pass here, whew, let your eyes, if you miss, you miss. Awesome. Flushy. Cool. Do it again. That's okay. You know, narrow the stance up a bit. Good. Waggle, waggle. Good. Settle in. Okay. A little late, right? Chased it. Okay. Cool. So how many reps do you think it would take before you could kind of get the face on this? Pretty quick, right? I could slow the ball down. So it gets, but I want to speed, I want you to feel, 
you know, a little bit more of that athlete going the other way. Like you got a you got a guy a guy running a second. You better see what I mean. Soft bent back, left fist. Okay, relax that right hand for a sec. Good thumb print. Nice. Good. Right hand matches up. Really nice. Gorgeous. Good. Waggle, waggle. Okay. Flary feet. So he heels a little closer than toes. Good. Throw that guy out. Oh, you tap the you tap the paddle. Okay. That's all. That wasn't the. Good. Yeah, baby. Beautiful. Do it again. That's, you feel the athleticism in that? Isn't that cool? Waggle, waggle. Feet a little closer together, just a bit. There you go. Gorgeous. Okay, good try. No worries. Come on over. Come on over. I know, it's fun, that thing, isn't it? Well, you know what's really good is new, just sheer newbies getting them on there because it's just like, they, it's like a challenge. They're not static. They're not standing still. You know, I ran my daughter through yesterday. And she was like, she, and she's a really good athlete. She was a, a champion gymnast and she's a good dancer. So she's a little muscular stud. But this, like this guy is athletic. Like this is changing. I'd still coach some stuff up a little bit here. You know, like this is. The club's starting. Now you got a couple bit of. See this movement bar here? See how you got time in, in the same space? Way different than before, right? Yeah. Heck, you started way over here. So now here's the swing. You know, athletically that you're that I want to see. Now we're going to manage. And that's shaping better too. Watch this. This is cool. Because now you don't have so much time to f everything up. To be honest. Okay, because you're, I mean, so when I take this guy and take him to the top, right, it starts off out of frame. So this club is, up, you know, eight, ten inches away from the ball already, right? So let me get this club moving. So pretty easy to see when that club starts to move. Right, the paddle starts to go. And then let's kind of go to the races here, okay? And you had a one foot lead on the left screen, so I'll move this along. See what I mean? Like, so you're a hair late, but this this is a guy who can hit it. This guy is so cautious and unathletic at this point. It's like, good luck to you, dude. Yeah. Right? You're you're living in your head way too much to play golf on the left. On the right, that's you fielding a ball and tossing a guy out. And you may miss the guy. You may throw make a crap throw. Who knows? But you're at least that's athletically doing it. You may hit a bad shot. Who cares? Okay, that's golf. Okay, you move on to the next one. But check it out. So as this club's tracking down, now you know P6 is you know P5 is quite nice. Let's kind of go to these spots. Let me take them off of uh, sync. Let's go to these ones. Okay. So you do a lot of things athletically pretty well. But see how this is starting to get out. So look at the subtle differences in in P5, meaning that the left arm's a bit more out yeah. on the on the left screen, right? As we start to go down, P6 clubs out, slicey slicers in. Now, are you out right now? You're not. You're on. You're spot on. Okay. Did I tell you to do that? No. Okay. So now the club's tracking beauty. That's not slice. Okay. This guy on the left has got to chop broccoli and slice and hit a weak one. Right? So all I did was kind of get you going, okay, good athlete, strong dude, great shape, 54, whatever the hell you 55. I mean, you should murder eight irons and seven irons, and you should absolutely hit it 265 in the air with the driver, not... 190 and 200 in the air. Yeah. You see what I mean? Okay. And this ball should go easy a buck 70 with a seven iron, especially these these guys because they're pretty strong lofted clubs. Okay. I mean, you move pretty well. You really, really do. Now I want to see that head release sooner, so you don't look like you're going to need a chiropractor after every round, right? Well, yeah, because you're you know it's like keep your head down, rubbish, right? Sterile whitey. Okay. So really good stuff. So you see how. You know, getting you kind of tuned a bit more into the readiness of how you hit a shot. Okay, well, so in this lesson, right? I mean, in this session, we've done a couple of things just to kind of say, okay, bent back, left wrist, vertical wrist, right? Not turned. Turned is this. Turned is this. We don't want turned. You get me? 
this is vertical and bent back and learning how to grip a club in a place where you can whip the towel, right? Where the backswing can kind of handle first, club head last, and the response is the opposite, being delivered with that dynamic response to hit a golf shot. Okay, that's why it looks way better, right? It's not just dee to dee to dee to dee really slow and do to do to do to do, right? It's, see my point? Okay, big, big deal. Um, cleaning up, like, last little lesson in here, okay, of this session would be kind of just managing your arms better. Let's see where my smart balls are at. So what I just witnessed, and you bend your wrist back, here, take a step that way for me, is that, you know, my hand, the grip can, the handle can be a little forward with the bent back. I don't have to be back here to do it. You get my point? So when I look down, if you use if you use a ball line stick like I would recommend you do, okay, if you get a couple of just aim sticks and set them up as a T, when you look down, I want you to be able to feel like from your visual perspective that this shaft is fractionally angling toward the target a little bit. So from my visual perspective, it's not parallel to that stick in the ground. It's just the handle isn't, you know, half, a, just an inch forward maybe, not way over here, okay? So there's your, because I just saw you kind of set up and you kind of look a bit back here, right? Now that's not a big, I mean, that's not, I, I knew a guy that was a great, not great, but a really good Canadian tour player that used to set up like this, but impact looked great. So set up and, and address don't mean that much, but you do have to give your wrist a little room to have that feel for you. Make sense? Okay, so come on in here. So bent back. Okay, good. Good. Now I'm going to put this little ball in here. Okay, and all I'm going to do with this is teach you how to ro stand up. Let your eyes track here, rotate and stand up. Tuck your buns up underneath you. Good. Good. You don't have to do anything with your hands. Just kind of just, you know what I mean? Do that again. No backswing. Just stand up. See how your eyes and your head and your face, right? Good. Now when you stand up this time, you know, stand up with just a bit of side bend so your eyes are slanted a little bit. a boy. That's side bend. Okay. Good. So do me a favor. Go ahead and clip this off the mat 30 yarder. Okay. And hold your finish for me. Don't drop that black ball. Go for it. Okay. Good. Let's have a look. Now, what I see is a guy's right hand trying to do a lot more work than it needs to, to be honest, because you're kind of in this kind of contrived finish up here on the left screen. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's quite golf-like right there. So see how in every magazine, that's what you'd see a pro look like. That's the picture you see, right? That's okay. I mean, you could push more, but honestly, Mo Norman, one of the best strikers that's ever lived, you know, hit into a bent left leg. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you could, you'll push more at some point, not too worried about it. But this little lesson in the session is just to kind of go, okay. There's beautiful impact. Now, you mishit it, right? But there's a beautiful presentation of laggy shaft, right? But more importantly, check it out. Like, this is this is what I'm trying to get you to understand, is that look at this dude, right? Look like you're riding a horse into town as wide as you are on the left screen there, okay? We don't need to be that wide. And then let's go to impact and impact, all right? Which one's got more, you know, lean at the moment? The guy on the right, not even trying to hit it hard, agreed? So now this guy's going to keep his head down for a week and hurt himself. This guy is keeping his head down appropriate amount, tour style, and then just kind of rotating and following the ball. You know what I mean? Not. Yeah. And so this, on the, on the left, I mean, that's like, ow. That's my point? Okay. Now, you, and you know, I, you know, you bought a Playmate, that's awesome. You can do all this stuff with a Playmate on. You know, but, but ultimately... You know, if I have a golfer in front of me, I'm going to coach what I see. I'm not just going to say I'm coaching a playmate. This was more a little bit of theory, you know, a little bit of let's fix your grip, 
let's kind of remind you of what you're good at, throwing baseballs. You know what I mean? Okay. And then, you know, not getting hurt by keeping your head down for a week. So see that right there? That's going to play really good golf. Why? Because this guy's going to have more reliable radius at all points in the swing. Because when the elbows bend too much, the club comes away from the ground, you lose left wrist control. When the elbows don't bend a lot, you know, not to say, you know, here's, you know, just coming back to this, like, where was my daughter yesterday? So she, she's just learning how to do this, right? I mean, literally, total rookie. But when this thing's coming at her at speed, does she bend her arms much? No, because she doesn't have time. Right? I didn't. I never. In my wildest dreams would tell her to keep her head down. But what? Where's her head going to be? Down, for a second, and then guess where it's going to go? Where it ought to go? Not hurt herself. Right? Okay. So, you know. So, that's what this session's all about. Let me save this video for you.